How's it going, everyone? It's Liam Cattleson here with another episode of Person of Interest. It is time to get into episode number seven uh, of this first season. Um, really loved the last one. Um, it was really, really great stuff, especially with Zoe, especially with the fact that um, she made such a great uh, first impression, I would say, to the point where, um, you know, you want her back in future episodes as a recurring character. So um, maybe that will happen, maybe not, but um, it was really, really great. Like, the interactions between her and Reese were just absolutely fantastic. There were, of course, um, emotional moments as well uh, when it came to Finch's um, perspective um, in the last episode. But yeah, it was really, really solid stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to continuing, um, you know, uh, this show and seeing what this episode has in store. So with, with, with that said, uh, this is episode number seven of Person of Interest, season one. Let's go. The team and I'll meet you there. We can handle this. No. I want to be there in person. I want to kill him myself. Oh. Oh. And I think he, um, pretty much did that. Oh, sh So what's he else here doing here? I'm kidding. There's a war going on. Oh, uh, we got mob war. We love it. The Russian mob were taking out last month. Word is Benny's boss ordered the hits. This was retribution. So who's his boss? Oh, shit. I don't know much other than a name. Elias. <gasps> oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Popular guy in his class, if you know what I mean. We need to find him. Well, funny you say that. I already did. Why am I not surprised? Listen, whoever did this hit, they're going to come looking for him. And funny you say that. Leaves us with approximately five seconds before you need to make a decision. And how do I know you're not one of them? Because I'm Because you're not dead. You and you're still alive. Doesn't seem like I've got a choice. Mm. I mean, you kind of do. You could choose to die, but... We need to keep moving. That's going to be a problem. You say the Russians don't go in there? Shit, well, shit, 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 shit. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to go into... I guess uncharted waters for the Russians. One of them lifted his like he wanted that guy to see his face. But that guy they killed... Just to acknowledge me that I got you. For someone named Elias. And he wanted me to give it to him, but I don't know an Elias. I tried to tell him that. I, I'm not even involved in this shit. You're not seeing it. Brighton Beach is just the beginning. Elias has bigger plans. He'll Lovely, and we'll stop and them. Out the Russian trash. Oh shit! The finished, families. You people <coughs> are answering to him. Tough. Who was he with? Some tall guy in a suit. Definitely not with the Russians. Shot one of them in the knee before they got away. There's your guy. You know? It's just someone I've been tracking for a while. That's not. Oh, guy. these two have it's definitely got across paths. Either one of them get hit. It seems to be a NYPD. God damn it! Because that's it, though. There are going to be some snitches within NYPD. And... Yeah. Hello, detective. I need to talk to you. I'll find you, detective. I'm telling you, I wing the yeah. guy. Let's get in there and finish him off. Last low, wait up. We need to call Papa, regroup. You want to wait around out here? Fine, I'm going in. Enver! You want to go out with a bunch of Bulgarian Oh, days? shit! We need a deal. Oh, it's great to see Enver here, even if he's, you know, a piece of shit, apparently, on this uh, show. What about the kids who don't make it? Probably the ones shooting at us. Hmm, that's just a really heartbreaking thing, really, don't isn't it? it? That car, I need Very popular. Stolen. Then email the report number to that address. Hey, you heard from my mutual friend? What, are you worried about him, detective? Let's go with Curious. No. No word from him. No, but he's got that, like, certainty that... Okay, I'm... I, it's just a little hiccup. Nothing bad's good, uh, you know, happening. I'm telling you now. He's just so calm about this. He's like, look! Just... The TV. The TV. It's like, I told you. What a dick. I mean, to be fair, 
they shouldn't be playing Breaking Bad, but... No, really. Thank you. That's it, though. For you, I'd be dead right now. Exactly. I, I, I just have this bad feeling in my gut like he's going to die. Here are you. Give one to the other guy. We'll help you out a whole lot quicker. Someone told me they're hiding out on the fourth floor. And one of them's already bleeding. Oh shit. Well, it's it's it it's looking oh, I don't like this. But it I do at the same time. But obviously shit's fucked, isn't it? Dangerous career choice. That's the second time today I've heard that. If I had a nickel It's funny. You remind me of him. Oh, So would you say he's lesser Finch? We've got no choice. Tell Fosco to meet us at Pier 11 at 7 a.m. We'll be on the East River Ferry. Be careful, Mr. Reed. Oh, the, 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 the concern in his voice. We just, uh, it's my friend, by the way. We just got lost. This is bad. I mean, the kid's innocent, but... Come on. My dad's not home. You can hide in here. Okay, okay, okay. Do your homework. Yep, all of it. Count of Monte Cristo. What do you think? Edmund's cool. Survive. They're taking over the universe. Man, I can't have that. Oh, I'm just gonna. I'm just worried. I am really, really worried because you know he's a a decent guy. Is that you, Elias? Nah, nah. I don't I don't think that's Elias. I think he's still hiding in the shadows. My papa taught me better than to let strangers inside our place. Kid. Especially. We cops. love you. Oh Is that right? That's right. He also said that Vordy is supposed to show respect to one another. This kid. I'll see you tomorrow, Mr. Burton. Yeah, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Oh my god, I'm getting so many red flags! This is... This is gonna be devastating as heck. Looks like you got left behind. Ouch! How can I to the New York City Police Department tonight? Your son Peter's wanted for questioning <coughs> Something. I suggest you come back with a warrant. If you can get one. There are no winners in this war, Ivan. Only dead soldiers. Blood all over. Are you ready to lose your sons, too? They're trying, they're trying their best, but... Where are we going now? Across the river. Come on, Laszlo. Let's move. Be a good sport. Just got a text. He's heading to Pier 11. Oh. Let's get him intercept him now. Oh. Men are on their way to meet our friends at the ferry. How the hell they find out? I was going to ask you. Yeah, he's you not in... me for this? Then who told them? Listen, there's no way I would have. Detective, are you there? There he is. Fucking dick. No idea what you're talking about. You're gonna play difficult. It's a beautiful oh. morning. Oh, no, 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 no. I have to thank you, John. Tell you the truth, I didn't think I'd see another one. Well, Elias yeah. Your uncle's trouble for a witness. Wait, what? Wait, what? No way. In the middle of a situation that you don't even understand. Don't make me shoot you, John. Oh my you God! Situations. On your knees. <coughs> This is oh um, I I hate this. That day, weren't you? Mm hmm The shooters were looking for you. Yeah, the benefits of no one knowing who you are or what you look like. That's gone. Holy now. shit! It's time to evolve. What if I don't? Then we'll meet again under less pleasant circumstances. Oh my god. I don't like this. I don't like this. Holy shit! You believe me now? 
I'm sorry, detective. Yeah, we, 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 we. You just feel so bad for him, but. We knew when we began this that we might make mistakes. But we have to go now. We have more people to help, more numbers. And how many of those numbers will come up because we saved one man's life? Oh, well, this is always going to be the dilemma, isn't it? No way. Shit. Beginning. Many Vivi Vici. Well, shit's going to escalate big time, isn't it? Bloody hell. Yeah, that was definitely my favorite episode so far. Because, you know, um, I think up until this point, you know, episode four was still my favorite. But this episode just... Yeah. Wow. Um. Yeah. Oh my god. I just couldn't believe it though, because, you know, Carter was talking to, um, you know, uh, Peter, and there was this. <coughs> there was this approach as if they were all laughing at our faces and all of that. And that's essentially what it was, because, um. Yeah. And you know what, though? I know some people... I know sometimes people will capture me saying some, um, you know, some stuff and all of that that's going to age like milk. And this episode was an entire library's worth because Charlie... Because that's it, though. With um, Elias undergoing the name Charlie, he gave off such a really, really nice demeanor and there was this... Yeah, it's and and that's it though. You can't really um, blame me for for warming to him because he has such a nice demeanor, and um, you know, at first you were like, okay, well, we've got to protect him, but you also felt like you also had a bad feeling in your stomach, or at least I did. Funnily enough, it wasn't for the actual reasoning to why you have a bad feeling in your stomach. It was. Because cause I was thinking, oh, he's going to die, isn't he? I mean, he's got such candor. He's, he's yeah, he, he seems very, very respectable, very uh, likable. And he's going to die, isn't he? It's going to be a tragic uh, um, conclusion. But not for the actual reason, no, is it, Liam? No. Damn, you bastards. <laughs> I mean, that episode was just insane. Um, obviously, the big reveal that Charlie was Elias was just absolutely phenomenal. But that's it, though. Like, through the entire episode, they threw me off guard. I would never have suspected... To be fair, I wasn't... I was, you know, so certain that, well, we're not going to see Elias in this episode. He might have an involvement. Um, like, he, uh, well, he has had uh, quite the involvement in um, for some time, hasn't he? But, um, yeah, I, I um, you know, usually this kind of stuff would be left to the midway point or something like that. Um, so, yeah, I wasn't, you know, 100% certain we were going to see Elias. And never mind the fact that Elias was right in front of us this whole time. It's messed up. I absolutely got um, a huge whiplash with that revelation. Like, especially with the idea, oh, well, you know, we were supposed to be, well, Betty was supposed to be Elias, and then Betty got shot, and then, yeah, because that's it, though. Um, <coughs> Charlie was the only other person there. Unless. Damn it. And of course, it's just all messed up. It's like, especially when you, you know, were so, so worried about 
Charlie's safety. Um, you were so so worried uh, about the fact that he was gonna he was gonna die, etc. And um, yeah, like especially with. And and that's it though. The writers were sneaky bastards because and and I don't know if it's just because you know I you know read the dialogue and I'm like oh no this is really giving me red flag material in terms of his survivability. But yeah, even on the ferry, um, you know, talking about seeing the the sunrise and all of that and thinking oh uh, I thought I was uh, you know never going to see another sunrise again etc cetera, etc. Cetera. And it's just like, oh, this is going to age horribly, isn't it? Because he's going to get... Ki well, b but at that time, of course, um, you just knew that um, things were going to go south because of the fact that, you know, Finch accused Fusco of, of um, you know, betraying everyone. And Fusco's like, w what the heck? And then he gets jumped. Um, so... But... <coughs> there were many uh, there were quite a few references throughout this uh, entire episode that made you think oh this guy's gonna die i mean that's it though with 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 charlie um it was yeah he he was just a character you worried about um he was very very nice he was you know very wholesome and you know the the tenderness between, in terms of the attitude between Reese and and, and Charlie, um, was 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 really nice. And you were just for me. I was just thinking, this is gonna hit Reese like a ton of bricks. Like what happens to Charlie um, in the end of this episode is gonna hit, hit him like a ton of bricks. Um. And I say that because it did hit him like a ton of bricks, but it's not because Charlie <coughs> died or anything like that. No, it's, it, it, it was something that none of, yeah, it, it, it's just messed up. It's just, wow. And yeah. I have no words. That's it, though. I have no words because, well, they completely bamboozled me. Um, yeah, they completely bamboozled me. And, yeah, because you saw how he was with that kid. Um, and there was a lot of uh, esteem and all of that. And that is um, his poker face, isn't it? And, yeah, so, because deep down, there is that maniacal, very calculative, um, and very, very devious side to him. <coughs> and, yeah, no one, no, like, that's it, though. He can pass it off really, really well because of, you know, this whole nice demeanor, this whole respectability, etc., etc. But deep down, there is that burning hatred for the Russians, of course. Um, and, yeah, that vengeance just burns so, so much. And, of course, everything's now beginning. Brighton Beach is his. And, um, yeah. He's now going to aim higher and bigger, really. So, but, and of course, it, it, for Elias, it had to end this episode with him retaliating to the to the Russian um, mob leader because of the fact that they took out Bernie. So it's like, oh, an eye for an eye, really. So, yeah. And Betty was a good person to Elias. And yeah, so... Oi. Yeah, I wasn't prepared for that. I'm just going to have a fun time editing this. I know that because, um, like I said, there were so many occasions in this episode where I'm just, you know, I'm just complimenting um, Charlie and I'm worried about him and, and everything like that. And then 
of course, the reveal comes, and it's just, yeah, so, it's just, it's just, it's just messed up, so. I know what I'm saying now, but, he grew such a connectivity with not just Charlie, but the impact he has on people. <coughs> I mean, even um, Reese had the goal to say, well, you're, you know, you you remind me of Finch. Um, which is, you know, especially with the, I guess, personal feelings, you could say that we've, um, delved into in terms of, uh, Reese and all of that. That's a pretty, pretty big compliment in regards to, um, you know, Reese having so much likability to, to Charlie. So, but yeah, it, it, he, he was just nice. The connectivity was there, not just to Reese as well, but also that kid. Uh, you could really get the sense that he is a really, really well-esteemed teacher. And of course, the kids don't know, of course, with the fact that um, he's using them, essentially, so he can extract information on his on his uh, antagonist. So, <coughs> so it's, it's just really messed up. It's just... Ah! Um, but yeah, this was a fantastic episode. Because it was really, really suspenseful. And because... I mean... There was the Elias twist. And, and, and you know, that really... I think when you've got a character that was really, really likable. And someone that you were worried about. Left, right, and centre. Um, and then you've got that twist at the end. I think it really, really pays off well. Because it hits you, it's 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 a betrayal, and it's that instant where, in the moment, you're like, "I'm never forgiving the writers for this shit." But um, they did it really, really well because that's it with Charlie. There was that likability, and there was for me that deep worry that, despite everything, um, he's gonna die, isn't he? Um, and. You know, I was just circling back to what I said, I think, in, um, you know, either the first or the second episode, that there is going to be an occasion where, where Reese and Finch will lose. Um, because you can't save everyone, etc., etc. Um, and there's going to be, because it's not going to be a situation where, well, they're going to save it. Uh, they, they're going to save everyone's lives at the end of the day. So, but... At the end of the day, you could say that um, they still lost because uh, Reese was beating himself up about the fact that how many more numbers are going to come up because we let Elias live. So, um, so he's harboring that guilt in regards to the fact that even though there was no way of knowing. Um, yeah. And I think it worked really, really well that you cut Reese. Uh, and Finch off from each other, and, or at least you gave them limited interactions. Um, because I'm not sure if that would have posed a threat in terms of outing Elias uh, and all of that, given, um, you know, how quick to work Finch is and all of that, but also with how, you know, in the shadows Elias can be. So... Uh, it was really, really smart to separate them for the majority of the episode. Um, but it, but not just for that reason, but it does add to that tension as well at the end of the day. Um, because, you know, Finch doesn't have an idea in terms of what, uh, how much damage Ares would have sustained. Bear in mind, this is still early in terms of their relationship. So, uh, anything could still really, really happen. I mean, of course, Finch knows what Reese is like, but again, anything could happen. Um, but it does create that heightened worry. Um, so, and I think all of these, uh, all of the ingredients makes this episode really stand out because, uh, like I said, you, you, you have an elevated sense of worry when it comes to, um, Finch not being able to make contact with, um, with Reese. Uh, you've got Charlie who initially you were worried about just, you know, given who he was and all of that. 
Um, and, and some of the comments he was making, you were just worried that he was not going to make this out alive. Um, because you were getting so attached to his character, you were getting so warmed, um, and, and something was going to shatter your heart. Um, so, and shatter your heart, yeah, it did, but not in the way that you were expecting. <laughs> because that facade just dropped and um enter Elias so yeah I still can't believe it though it was really really well executed um so I am surprised that Laszlo did survive but I guess uh, as Elias said message sent really so yeah but yeah, this was a really, really um, superb episode. I also, read, of course, really loved the interactions with Fisco and uh, Finch. Um, their first interactions, especially with the fact that, well, Finch is limited in terms of being able to assist Reese. So, you know, Fisco is going to be uh, like he's the guy in the middle in a sense because um, you know, he'll sometimes, um, you know, assist Reese. Uh, and all of that. Um, and with Reese out of the picture, he's got to rely on, um, on, on Fusco. So yeah. And yeah, it was just, it was just a really, <coughs> a really, really great, um, connectivity between the pair. So, um, very, very funny, but, um, yeah, again, you do feel so bad for, for bloody, um, Fusco. So, especially since, um, Finch was adamant on the fact that, Shit, it's you, isn't it? You're, you're, um, you're being a snake, aren't you? And then, um, he gets jumped, so, yeah. I can't blame Fusco for being annoyed. Um, but yeah. It was a really, uh, it was a really great episode. Um, and it really left you on a very, very ominous ending, really, with Elias... Um, standing tall, um, and not just that though, but also Reese, like, it, it's going to be very interesting to see where Reese's, uh, mind, uh, mind space is going to go from here onwards, because, you, you know, he even had him at the end of the episode, like I said, um, about the fact that he was beating himself up. Um, I mean, the betrayal is, is, is a whammy, isn't it? Yeah, sure. But... There is also that idea of, okay, well, I've just saved a murderer. So how many more lives are going to be on my hands, really? Because I saved a murderer. So, yeah. It's going to be very interesting to delve into that next episode. So, But, um, yeah, um, a really, really incredible episode. My favorite so far. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, but I will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction hope you guys take care and I'll see you guys next time